Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Pets channel. Today we will be looking at the Irish Wolfhound, an interesting breed with an amazing portfolio. The Irish Wolfhound is one of the tallest of the hound breeds. The Irish Wolfhound can be a real couch potato and loves nothing better than lie around in the most comfortable spots. These dogs have superb temperaments, are calm when indoors and are generally easy going, making them excellent pets for people who give them occasional space to roam. The interesting thing about these dogs is their history. The Irish Wolfhound may have been brought to Ireland as far back as 7000 BCE. They were highly valued since Roman times as guardians, hunters and companions. Despite their even temperaments, Irish Wolfhounds were known for being ferocious and fearless and were used to hunt wolves, guard livestock and large elk. The coat of arms of the early Irish kings bore an image of the Irish Wolfhound and the words inscribed to depict these dogs were gentle when stroked but fierce when provoked. Nearly extinct by the late 1800s, this breed was recreated from the new remaining specimen of Scotsman Captain George Augustus Graham. One of the amazing facts of the Irish Wolfhound history is that they have a mythological background to the breed's origins. These dog breeds are older than Christ himself. They have stories and folklore and tales of them early in the days of Ireland. One of these stories is the story of Gilla and Llewellyn. Prince Llewellyn of Wales is said to have loved the dogs above all else, but always took with him his Irish wolfhounds named Gilad. The prince had many hounds, but Gilad was his favorite and was always there for the morning hunt. However, one morning, Gilad did not turn up and eventually Prince Llewellyn went off with his followers and the hounds but could not enjoy his day and in the end he hurried back home to find what had happened to Gilad. He was met by Gilad giving him his usual greeting and jumping on him and licking him. But Llewellyn was horrified to find Gilad was covered in blood. Hurrying into the castle, he went to see his infant son, but found the cradle overturned and empty, with no sign of the child or with blood covering all over the ground. The prince concluded that Gilad must have killed and eaten the baby. Llewellyn drew his sword and plunged it into the side of his hound Gilad. The stricken Gilad gave a loud hand and cry as he died, followed by a baby wailing and crying. Prince Llewellyn noticed the baby's voice and began to search for the source of the sound and found his baby under a pile of bedding from the cradle, completely unharmed and safe, and close by the child lay the body of a giant wolf, which had obviously been slain by Gilad, his Irish wolfhound and best friend. Horrified at what he had done and stricken by remorse, Llewellyn had the body of Gilad buried with dew bomb and the place was afterwards known as Bed Gilad, meaning the grave of Gilad. There are many stories like Gilad about the Irish Wolfhounds, the coat of arms and the founding days of Ireland and how many people came to realize that these dogs were more than just breeds and people that you have alongside you. They were actually legendary dogs that put their life on the line for the people that they loved. Moving to the characteristics of the Irish Wolfhound, a male Irish Wolfhound stands at at least 32 inches tall on the shoulder and weighs at least 120 pounds. The Irish Wolfhound female is at least 30 inches tall and 105 pounds. Many are larger. These are very large dogs. So if you are looking to get one, I would suggest to make sure you have a large space, a large room, because anything that comes with a large breed of dogs also comes with large medical bills, large food, and large area to actually host and exercise them. The males usually average to 34 to 35 inches off the ground and the females average around 32 to 34 inches. Their lifespan is occasionally an average of 6 to 9 years of age and their portfolio means that they are easy to train and they are very affectionate. They are very playful and good with children, also good with other dogs. Their grooming could be a bit excessive if you're not used to grooming dogs but nonetheless they are an amazing breed with an amazing affection towards their owners and their family. They do require to be walked extensively because they are a large dog with a lot of energy. So I would suggest that if you do have an Irish Wolfhound that you take them for extensive amount of walks as much as they like to sit down and be couch potatoes, they also like to walk around engage in outdoor activities. Irish Wolfhound is an overall very healthy breed but problems can include as a gastric torsion, bone cancer, heart problems and hip or elbow dysplasia which are more common side of the medical condition that these dogs go through as they age. And lastly around their coats, about the Irish Wolfhound, the rough hard coat comes in many colors including white, gray, brindle, red, black and fawn. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode of Kingdom Pets channel.